Today we're going to get to go down into the dry dock and walk underneath the battleship. Walking under a ship is like uh, seeing an iceberg fully out of the water. No matter how many times I get to go under the battleship, I am always left in awe of getting to see her. She was built right here in the Philadelphia Navy Yard by Americans, a workforce from Philadelphia and New Jersey. And 80 some years later, she's still here in perfect shape. For this project, there's only three main things that we're trying to do. Number one is we're gonna repaint the bottom of the ship to make sure she doesn't rust. Number two is we're replacing the anodes on the hull that serve as the cathodic protection. And number three is we're checking the roughly 160 holes in the bottom of the ship that were intentionally there, that the Navy built them into the ship for getting cooling water into the engines and things like that. And we're gonna make sure that they are all still watertight. This is a 60 day yard period and the shipyard is graciously allowing us to do tours on the weekends. They're limiting us to just under 5,000 total tickets. So this is the only time for the next 30 years that you'll likely get a chance to walk under an Iowa-class battleship like USS New Jersey. One day very soon, all of the World War II veterans will be gone. But ships, planes, tanks, things like Battleship New Jersey will be the only reminders of that tremendous conflict to let us know that, hey, maybe it's not a good idea to do that again. It is vitally important to preserve New Jersey and other macro artifacts like her. This yard period is all but guaranteeing that the ship is going to make it past her 100th birthday and will still be afloat in 30 years when it's time to do this again.